So everybody has been asking me if the AI and robots will take over the world. If we are doomed, some even said that they now question our existence. Relax. The main question I understand from you folks is what is the future of programming or XYZ languages as the AI tools are getting better and better and better. Let's first have a look at what we're talking about here. We're talking about ChatGPT, which is from OpenAI, which was started as far as I recall from Elon Musk at some point. And this is something that everybody is talking about today. You ask it questions and it brings you answer because it's an AI tool. And there are a lot of code examples that people have been showing because I am in the tech industry. I'm more looking at the content from the tech side. So what you do here is that, for example, you could ask, hey, JavaScript code to calculate if a word is a palindrome, for example. If you do this, it's going to go and search for it and give you a solution. Now, if you look at the output, it's pretty dang good because if you can see it creates a function, it replaces the word and it checks if the reverse word is equal to the original word. And then it also gives you some examples on how to use it. Well, code is something that also GitHub Copilot was also doing if you have used it. But what's interesting is that it also gives you an explanation of how the code works. For example, here you can see it says the is palindrome function takes a word as an argument, returns true if it's a palindrome false otherwise it does this by removing any spaces from the word reversing the word and then checking if the original word is same forwards and backwards now this is really good and i also checked a couple of things as well for example here i asked it to give me uh, a code of how to make http requests with javascript it gave us this code with the fetch and also explained why we are using fetch why do we use the response json method to basically convert or parse the object to json so it's really good to understand the questions that you're asking and also how they really work but i also asked it to create a javascript program to print on the console or the browser console the flag of pakistan and this is a code that it gave now, when I first look at it, I'm like, okay, this looks cool. The code looks complex, of course. And uh, I mean, small variable names, we love them. So here you can see that things I don't understand. And then when you don't understand something, either you fear it or you admire it. I usually admire it. So I copied the code and I also went to the console into a new one. And I checked how it tried to print out everything. So this is what it does. It prints out the flag of Pakistan like this, and this is not what the flag of Pakistan looks like. So if I go ahead, flag of Pakistan, in case if you have not seen that yet, this is how it should look like. Now, it also tells that this uses the uh, ANSI characters to kind of build up this. and also gives an explanation on why uh, the code, or actually in this case, doesn't really give an explanation of what the code does, but also has comments that explain what the code does in general. So I also tried this on the Node.js environment. And if I run this here, I get the same output, the same result. So it's not really doing what it's supposed to do. On the other hand, I also asked ChatGPT to give me a code, JavaScript, to break her engagement and to marry me. <laughs> and it gave me a really interesting philosophical answer that it cannot provide code to break someone's engagement or force them to marry me. Such actions would be unethical and potentially illegal. Instead, it encouraged me to respect the choices and decisions of others and to communicate openly and honestly with my partner about the feeling and desire. While it's really interesting to see this philosophical answer, I'm wondering if people would be able to break the AI by giving wrong answers. We don't know really yet. But if we come back to the question all over social media, you can see that everybody is worried if their craft, their skills and their expertise are going to be irrelevant or obsolete. I got reached out by a couple of people who said that this YouTuber or this tech influencer also said that he's worried. They are concerned if the AI is going to take over their jobs. What I think is that while these tools are great, they still need someone technical to tell them what to do to do their jobs accurately. As you can see that it could not give me the flag of Pakistan because it doesn't really understand that. And this is going to be the case with a lot of situations where you would have to exactly tell or if not exactly then close to the outcome that you really require. So you need someone human to help them do it. What I would suggest really is to get better at these tools instead of being afraid because if they become too mainstream, which I think they are going to be, I don't think they're going anywhere. So they're not going to be solution of everything. They're going to become tools 
that help us do our jobs better. And as I said, I'm not afraid of them. As long as you're a master of your craft and you're good, you don't have to worry about it. So keep at learning what you're doing right now with your profession, with your choice of framework or programming language, get more expertise and become a master on that. But also keep an eye on these tools and learn to use them to your benefit and make a lot of projects, please. This is something that I say in almost every live stream. When you have your good portfolio, when you have expertise, I don't think you got to worry about it. So just relax and let's see what's going to happen. So I hope this answers your concerns. If you found this video useful, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for the next ones. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care.